Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Kulu Linux and uh, today I'm going to show you Beta 5 of the new Aero Edition. It went uh, live to the testers yesterday and uh, there are a couple of minor changes. Um, I wouldn't say a lot of big changes but it is coming not together nicely. So uh, I just wanted to show what's different, what's new. Um, firstly, the menu, as you've known, uh, or as I've stated before in the previous, is forked from the stock menu. So this is the stock menu. However, the standard stock menu no longer works in Cinnamon. It uh, pops up a bunch of errors when you try and use it. As uh, uh, quite a few of the, especially the menu, the menu plugins in Cinnamon, they're pretty much all busted. Only the default Cinnamon menu works. And uh, actually, quite a lot of the plugins are all busted. You know, they, they, they jumped quite a few versions, and a lot of the plugins are outdated, and the developers are not around anymore. They're not developing on the apps anymore, uh, on the plugins, and therefore a lot of the plugins are broken. So uh, I've had to fork this um, menu from the stock menu. So it's fully, fully functional, fully operational, and. Um, yeah, so this is a fork of the stock menu and I will keep keep updating it. So for the time being it's running and it's running well. No pop-up errors, no issues. Um, yeah, so that's one one of the big changes that, that, that uh, is in this edition that I didn't really focus on the last uh, the last video. Okay, and since I forked it I've obviously had to uh, uh, put it in the repos so that I could actually maintain it as well so if there's any changes and I need to update it it will just be pushed through to the users via the repo okay so although if you click on about it says Makulu menu uh, menu at Makulu it is a fork of stock menu I do not want to hide that fact obviously um, Anyway, so it's it's now the Makulu menu, but it's based on the stock menu. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. The other the other major change is that um, I've removed the Mint updater because oh man, the things just become such a problem, just so problematic. Um, I don't know, especially with all the major changes they're making. I don't know if they're planning to update that updater, but it becomes it's just become more and more of a headache than anything else at this point. So I've fallen to back to the GNOME package kit for updates, which works great by the way. Uh, it's the most neutral update manager that I could get my hands on and it works great. But in order for it to work in Cinnamon, you know, uh, because there is no plugin for it, I had to physically write a plugin. So here is a plugin if I click on it, as you can see, it brings up the package kit updater, and it actually lists the updates. Very easy, very simple, and you can just click on install updates if you want to. There we go. Done. Just click on install updates, which I'm not going to right now. But as you can see, there it is. And once again, if you click on it, it will say update manager, update at Makulu. So this is in the repositories as well, this plugin. So um, if you actually go to applets... You will see there you've got the uh, there's the Makulu update plugin, update manager plugin, and the Makulu menu plugin. So those two are in the repo and they get updated to the users via the Makulu repo and not via the applet website on the well the Cinnamon database website or whatever. So these are not available to any user except Makulu. Neither is the menu. It's specifically written for Makulu, works on Makulu. I cannot guarantee these plugins will work on any other system. Therefore, I put it in the repos rather than putting it on their website. Okay, so that's that's quite major because this is something that doesn't exist in any other Cinnamon edition, this little plugin over here. So that's great. A lot of the guys have said I do cosmetic work only. Um, I do actually <laughs> code stuff when I have to as this is one of those. The other is obviously the menu that works now without any kind of issues. Right, um, 
the other major update here was you've got the software manager which is the default uh, solid x software manager which is actually supposed to work on a debian but it's been forked for this hybrid which is a uh, ubuntu slash debian based uh, hybrid um, you know the software manager tends to to get a little slow at sometimes uh, i mean i know you know your internet speed um, greatly affects the the actual speed of the uh, software manager because it actually updates packages while opening so like i i'm on a horrible line here at the hotel because i share with like 200 other people so uh, you know i've always got a a few second delay with opening it some other users with a really fast internet connection will go oh wow this is so fast so you know the software manager greatly really just varies the speed varies depending on your internet connection um, as you can see there's 75,000 packages available which is great the software manager is actually a great software manager you cannot go wrong with it it's very straightforward simple easy to use uh, you know you can just simply click on something like Firefox and we'll list a little uh, description and a picture and tell you which packages get installed and it actually gives you a reviews and an in easy install button straightforward so this is this is a uh, the the sort of mint version of the software manager that was forked to Debian and then now forked to this hybrid build so that works great that's the default software manager you get in the bottom panel here but I have also if you open up the menu you'll see uh, it says software manager I've also included a second, this is also based on the GNOME, well, the GNOME version of the package kit software manager. So people that prefer a much more uh, detailed, uh, sort of more technical kind of uh, software manager will probably appreciate this. Once again, it takes a few seconds to refresh. Um, but it also lists a uh, little... It, it, it's a lot more simpler, put it that way. It's not as fancy and so forth. It's, it's much, much more simpler. It gives a little description of the package, um, gives required packages, dependencies, install button, and that's pretty much it. It's much more simpler, and uh, it actually starts up faster than the other one, and in general, it's faster. Um, as you can see, it's just busy refreshing packages, and like I said, my, my net tends to be a little slow here, especially it's holiday now, so the hotel is fully booked. So there's a lot of people on this connection. Um, anyway, so the other change is that you get two software managers, both doing the same the same job essentially. One is just more visual, the other one is more technical. Um, the software manager not only not only manages software, but it actually manages your current packages as well and so forth. So you can actually manage your existing packages, similar to an easier version of Synaptic. You know, if, if you want to put it in those terms, Synaptic Packet Ma Package Manager is included as well, obviously. And um, Cinnamon has been updated from version 2.80 to version 2.86 with this uh, beta. So it's currently running on 2.86. Most likely, if there's any kind of delay on it going live, I, I might jump to 3.0. I'm not quite sure how stable 3.0 zero is at the moment because it's just been released but uh, pointless releasing something that's not stable or not uh, been marked as stable so the current version as of this beta is 2.86 but that might change um, so that's pretty much the what's new you know um, since since the last uh, since the last update that I made uh, video wise um, uh, sorry about that um, phone won't stop ringing um, anyway uh, as I was saying you know uh, this is gonna be such a nice release because uh, it looks stunning this is a breathtaking theme just you know it's just really comfortable to use just so comfortable everything just feels and fits so well you know um, and with some of the quite a lot of changes since the last release you know I've learned a lot since then and I've had a lot of feedback so I kind of uh, get the feel for what the users like what they don't like what kind of issues they had what to address um, and there's still work to be done you know there's still a lot of work to be done but um, I think I think the 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 
edition is on the right track and I think it's going to be a great release I really do I think it's going to be a 10 times better um, improvement over the last release and I, I really think the users will enjoy using this um, purely because it runs so well and it feels so comfortable um, and anybody coming from a Windows environment will feel right at home here anybody who does not come from a Windows environment I think will just enjoy the the change you know the change of look and feel that they'll have and how convenient everything is even opening up something like the, your menu you've got a bunch of favorites on the left and you can change those to whatever you want you've got a bunch of favorites uh, system favorites on the right and you can edit those according to what you want um, the menu is just very comfortable very 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 comfortable the layout is just so nice that you don't have to go very far to get what you want you know um, your update manager is brilliant no issues there wallpaper change is so easy to manage you just simply just select the wallpaper from a, a little list on that pops up on the side of the screen um, so yeah you know everything's just very very comfy and it just looks and feels very good um, you've got dual software managers that you can use so I really think the users are going to enjoy this release greatly so that's it for, for uh, from me I just kind of wanted to show off the the new beta and there goes my phone again so uh, yeah I'll catch you guys soon